everybody has to get out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing's bending. This thing's bending oh, right here. Wow. Titan Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. Its mission, deliver a payload to a designated spot on the Earth's surface some 5,500 nautical miles away. Its warhead could level an entire city. So welcome back to Nuclear Bunker Living. Today, today's episode, for the very first time since 1965, we are opening up the original entry portal hatch, the original gopher hole entrance to this mighty Titan I complex. Have a look at this. So the entry portal hatch with the spiral staircase was the original gopher hole experience entrance to the Titan I. Here are some photos. Photo of the Titan entry portal hatch in 1961. This is Senior Master Sergeant Abraham Macmillan, shown here leaving the complex via the original hatch. Here is a Lieutenant Colonel Robert F. Simpson, emerging from the Titan One complex on the cover of This Week magazine, a supplement of the New York Herald Tribune. Here's Captain Don Smith. He makes his way up the steep and confined stairs of the entry portal entrance. This rather cramped and unsafe nature uh, of the entry would bring about its eventual abandonment. And here is another shot of an unknown airman exiting the portal hatch wearing some really cool shades. The new personnel entrance was the modified entrance hastily retrofitted to all Titan 1 sites after the horrific death at this very same Titan 1. Apparently the change came following a fatal accident in 1961 when an engineer slipped at the bottom of the spiral steps of the entry portal hatch and had his head crushed by the heavy steel reinforced revolving doors in the entrapment area. A very gruesome death at my Titan 1. The newly installed personnel entrance used a concrete slab about a foot thick encased in heavy steel. This wine cellar like staircase dispensed with the original dangerous spiral design and was significantly wider. After being decommissioned, the other portal hatch was sealed. The Department of Defense, the, uh, the DOD, leased this particular Titan One complex for all their ballistics experiments for over four decades. In an attempt to stem the flow of infiltrating water, uh, the original entry portal sides were filled with expanding foam insulation to seal it from the hostile climate. And this proved futile, of course, as the expandable foam was very susceptible to the cold winter and hot summer elements. Now it's our turn. For the very first time since 1965, we're going to be opening up the original entry portal hatch, utilizing Bertha, our military loader. From the, from the side right here, I mean... Because if he got his, if he got his, he could just angle it, and just, we can at least, I think, that, that. How deep do those things go in there, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Three inches or something. I was wondering, yeah, I was wondering how that was going to work. I was wondering how they're going to pull up these big-ass fucking ones, dude. Same thing, pretty, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or, uh, so we'll see how they can get it with all this stuff. With that think, guy. Right. Well, it looks the like they got most of the grout shit out too. Much. Yeah, this thing's already moving. We've been moving it around. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just... Did you, did you WD-40 them hinges? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, he's the boss. You're going to have to get out of the way, though, boy. What's this thing going to be? I need to come in right up over that pile, dude. Get the right angle. Yeah, they're gonna take that, but do you think you might need to come? Yeah. You might need to set your ass there. Uh, 
Once open, uh, we're going to use the uh, the opening of the hatch to basically pump more fresh air into the complex as we gain greater access to other buildings within the actual underground complex. Good water, guys. See the clap right there? Yeah. I got this other one too. I have two hooks. Got guys two hooks. You want to use that one instead? Yeah. Uh, I think it pops out. It has two hooks. Look right here. That hook's back too. That's smaller though. No. Uh, it's smaller. It's about the same size as well. I think so. It's yeah, a bigger yeah. chain. I got a bigger chain. Okay. Makes my chain look like a little, like a little kid's chain. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> Simon, as we opened it for the very first time. Yes. If you can kick it all the way, all the way, it should lock open. Yeah. Perfect. All the way, all the way. More? More. Is that all the way? Okay, so now we have to brace it somehow. What are we going to use to brace it? Huh? For starters, that's just a quick one. There's a 2x4. Yeah, we could change it to this one and that one. So this is metal. We could take that bar right there, that that pipe, and weld it right there. What about if we put a frame up this one? Hey, you know, are we doing this open permanently? Yeah, for a while, yeah. So not permanently. Not permanently, permanently. Just for a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Wow. We should have cool. put that strap on there. Yeah. We should have put that weight thing on there. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. I would do it. We can still do that. We can still do this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But you can post it up with Unistrats. Unistrats are right there. Yeah. Do you want me to go grab a couple for you, bro? What do you need? What are they? Those the green units. Like I wouldn't trust. I mean, those are pretty strong, too. There's steel over there, too, but. Okay. There's a shit. I mean, there's a lot of those unit strats. You could put a bunch of them in there. Okay. Really, you just need one solid one to keep it up. Here, let me. I'm going to throw it to you so you can. I want to secure it. Ready? Step over. Here, tie it up. Oh, this way. Give me another one. That little thing might snap. This is just a security. Just in case it wants to be in. That little thing might snap. So this one's gonna be in there. Might as well. Might as well. I mean, this is quarter inch. It'll still hold it. You know, what we'll have. Nobody down, right? Nobody's lost. No. Safety issues right here. Oh yeah. Something like that, huh? Yeah. Okay, so let me get the weld check. Can you weld it on this? Or that's you do. You got metal. Just so you guys have enough power here. You need So we're using HEPA filtration machines, removing 99% of particulates, 0.3 micron and larger. And this particular technology inactivates all surface and airborne contaminants, filtering it and then purging clean air outside through the hatch.